Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to bleach and dye your hair um, red. And I'm not exactly going to show you how to do it, but it's just like the basics. And I did have a video of me doing everything, but because for some reason Movies Maker didn't want to accept the format, I couldn't edit it nor upload it. So I'm just going to show you what I used and what I used to take care of my red hair. Um, before my hair was, you know, wavy, straight. It was the same length as this. It was all one length. A few layers here and there, but nothing dramatic. And I decided to cut it all off into this haircut. And a lot of you guys say this isn't seen haircut, but if I really do tease it and straighten it and actually style it the way I like it, would be seen haircut. But just because I don't want to put damage on my hair, as I already have, I don't want to do anything like, like that. Um, so first my hair was brown, black. My hair has been through many process of dyeing hair. And I do have a lot of experience prior to dyeing your hair, so I can tell you a lot of things that I know. Um, so first of all, bleaching is not really bad for your hair. It depends how bad of a, how bad your hair already is. Because my hair was pretty healthy before I started bleaching it. Um, now bleaching, what it does is that it strips out all the molecules of your hair color and it makes it lose the pigmentation. Therefore, when you add another color on, it'll be vibrant and bright. So I lost the pigmentation of my peekaboo highlights and that's how I got the red on there. As you can see, I have here and there, and as you can see, that one's extremely red. My hair has a copper tone to it, so, um, yeah, but when I go into the sun, it's really, really red. And I'm going to post a picture of me outdoors and indoors right now. So I'm going to show you the back of it, and it's just peekaboo highlights. And I did have the two tails down here, but I don't know if you can see that, but because my ends are really, really damaged, I didn't want to bleach it again. Um, this is how it looks like when I bleach my hair twice. So before it wasn't as red and now it is extremely really red and I didn't want to bleach the bottom. I bleached the upper top and everything like on the first layer of the hair twice and on the bottom I just left it from the previous dye just because my hair is very brittle from the dye and it's very weak. Um, so that's that. Now the tools and the dye that I've used, used is Beyond Zone. Yeah, this is the Radical Bleach Kit and Volume Bleach Kit and Volume 40. Now, I know that a lot of people don't recommend Volume 40 just because it can break your hair and it can really do some damage. Um, like I said, if your hair is extremely healthy and it doesn't have any split ends and you just have healthy hair, using 40 is okay because that's what I did and my hair is perfectly fine. The first layer is not brittle or nothing, just the ends were dry because my ends were already dry before. Um, I shouldn't have even added the bleach on the ends because prior to before it being dry and like split and brittle and all that, this just even made it worse. But my top layers are extremely fine. Um, it's just a little bit drier than usual, but it's not breaking or nothing like that. And note, keep in mind that I bleached my hair twice. So the myth of bleaching your hair is extremely bad for you. Yes, it can be bad, but it's to a level of an extent where it's not as damaging if you have healthy hair like I did. Um, so that's that, and it comes with the developer, and it comes with the bleach powder, and this is the little tube that you mix it in with, and the bleach powder comes in a packet like this, and it comes with a brush and a, what is this called, a spoon, I guess, and a divider. So all of this, four items, was $8.99. That's really, really cheap. Keep in mind that when you bleach your hair, you do have to use a lot of developer. Um, just because a developer is a substance that makes everything together. So this, you're not going to get a full coverage if you decide to bleach your entire hair. For me, I did here and there peekaboo highlights, so I was able to do enough coverage without using the entire bottle. So if you have long hair and thick hair and a lot of hair, I would recommend you using a different developer and a different kit. But if you have tiny hair like I do and you just want, you know, a um, little bit of highlights and stuff like that, I do recommend this kit. They're very cheap and very affordable. All of this can be purchased at Sally's Beauty Supply. So that's that. And I really do like this. And I still have a lot left. Oh, the developer is probably up to here, which is not a lot. I need to get more developer. I have a lot of the bleach powder, so that's that. Now, when I bleached my hair, I put it in aluminum foil. For the bottom part, all I did was I picked the two tails that I wanted, and then I put bleach on it, and then I aluminum foiled that up. And then I put up my second layer, chose what I wanted. As you can see right here, 
This part is more red because I didn't add a toner. Now, but when you bleach your hair, you do want to add a toner because the toner, it cancels out all the brassiness of the of your hair and it cancels out to make it all one tone. Now, for me, I didn't have enough money to buy the toner and I was dyeing my hair red anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's copper or brassy. It's just going to end up being more red. Now, I was kind of wrong because on different levels of my hair, as you can see, it's brassier. So you definitely do want to use a toner. Um, a toner, ha I think it has a purple kind of like substance it's like a purple liquid that cancels out all your brassiness and um, so that's that I have some there so what I did was I put aluminum foil on this and then when it, and I put it all over here too I have some right there and then I put some aluminum foil on here no, notice that not all of my um, bangs are all one color because I highlighted the bangs what I did was I clip it up like this and then I started the, the bleach here, and I started here and there, and I didn't bleach the entire part just because I wanted a little bit of black in there. So I aluminum fold that one. And then go to the next section, and then I bleach there, there, and there, as you can see. And then I aluminum fold that one, and then that, and then that. So as you can see, uh, it took a really long process for me to do my hair. Now here's where it gets complicated. So, um... When you bleach your hair, you have to wash it out. By washing it, I do not use any shampoos. Just because when you use a shampoo, it strips everything out, leaving nothing left. Leaving very minimum chemical in your hair so that the red will attach. So don't shampoo your hair out. You want to condition your hair. You can use any kind of conditioner you want. I recommend damaged you know, therapy conditioner or moisturizing conditioner because you do want to revive your hair. And prior to bleaching your hair, you do want to get your hair ready for... A total damage. So probably two days before you decide to bleach your hair, sub you know um, submerge your hair in olive oil because that's what really moisturizes your hair. And um, just do an oil treatment or whatever treatment you want. Just make your hair getting ready to get bleached. So that's that. Um, so when I wash the bleach out of my hair, I use a conditioner. Um, I will have the little packet of what I've used it right in this clip now. Now those two packages are from Sally's Beauty Supply. Each of them cost 99 cents. And I really do recommend the one with olive oil because it really does moisturize my hair. So in between my washes from the, uh, from the bleach, I used that um, conditioner. So I dried my hair and everything and then I would use this. This is the Enrage color. This is in crimson red. And it is a demi-permanent. And semi-permanent stays on for four weeks, demi-permanent stays on for six to eight weeks, and permanent stays on forever. So this will gradually fade after so-and-so washes, and it smells like bubblegum, which was strange because I figured it would smell crappy, but it smells really good. And it's, it's really, like, thick, so you don't have to worry about falling in everything, so it's extremely thick consistency. And it's kind of like paste. So I would put it on my bleach parts and I would wrap that in aluminum foil or I would put it, no, I put it on the bleach part, I put my hair up in a shower cap and I leave it on for probably an hour and then I blow dry it for like 15 minutes, well 5 minutes and I take that off. Um, you want to leave this as long as probably under 2 hours because it does say like 45 minutes but with the 45 minutes you can't do anything with it. So yeah, um, so leave it on for like an hour and a half. So that's what I did and then I washed that out with another conditioner. So, that's how I dyed my hair. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make this a two-part video. It depends on how I edit it. But I'm going to tell you guys the products I use to maintain my hair. Um...